algebraic expressions um, is just a fancy way of saying taking an algebra statement that's written in English and writing it in a mathematical equation. And you might see something like 5 less than a number. This could be a typical statement. And the key word and key phrase is usually something like less than, more than, sum of, and this tells you what operation to use. So less than, well, that's subtraction. So in this case, the operation equals subtraction. Okay, and typically people make the mistake of writing the statement exactly in the order they see it. They say this is subtraction, so it must be 5 minus n. But in fact, this is something different. This is not 5 less than a number. This is a number less than 5. In fact, it's the reverse. 5 less than a number. Well, think about it. If you had 5 less than me, you would have to take 5 away from whatever I have. So if I had $10 and you had 5 less than $10, how much would you have? Well, just take the 5 away. That means you would have $5 because you have 5 less than me. So this is just a more general statement. So this is actually just n, some amount, minus 5. And this is an expression. Let's quickly go over that. An expression is like a statement. But in fact, the key is there is usually no equal sign. It's not really a big deal. Sometimes they ask for it. And what they're actually looking for, if they want any equal sign, is called an equation. An equation has equal sign. So if you're looking for an expression, you just need to write something like this. There's no equal sign or this. If they want an equation, something more like this right here. Here's some common keywords for each operation. Plus, more than, add, sum, and end all refer to addition. The word sum is really uh, commonly used in addition. And the word end is almost always indicating addition, except in probability. Subtraction, minus, less than, difference is a big keyword, and decrease all denote subtraction. For multiplication, the word of actually means multiply. Product and times, product is the keyword. And divide, right now I have on here just one word, quotient. They might also write divide. And typically a format for these highlighted words, you might see something like the blank of a and B is, and they give you something else. So for example, the sum of A and B is, and that would be A plus B. The difference of A and B is A minus B. The product of A and B is A, B. Why did I write A, B? In algebra, if you write two letters next to each other, that's a shortcut for writing one number times the other. This is a really important shortcut. And then the quotient of A and B is, well, A divided by B. Notice these are all expressions because none of them have the equal sign.